Let's get queer -cated. What's up? What's going on? You know, it's your girl Ray J coming back at you with the uh, what? I'm next video. This is episode 12. Let's get queer -cated, where I, Ray J, educate you about all things queer this month. So hit that subscription button if you're not yet subscribing. Hit that notification bell so every single time a video drop, you guys will know. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on these videos. So let's just get right into today's video. Today's terminology of the day is gender expression. So yesterday we looked at gender identity, and now we're going to look at gender expression. So gender expression describes the way in which we present ourselves, which you know can include your physical appearance, clothing, you know, hairstyles, and your behavior. So gender identity is not the same as gender expression. It is important to not assume that the way someone moves, talks, dresses, or you know, style their hair is an indication of how they identify their gender. Now stick with me. There are an infinite amount of amazing ways a person of any gender can express themselves. Some boys wear dresses, some girls wear shorts, um, and some banner folks wear makeup. When someone's gender expression is different to what people expect, they often assume to be, you know, gay or lesbian. Like, for example, boys who used to take home economics, they would deem as gay, and girls who used to play football, they would say, yo, they're a lesbian. Gender expression is all about how you want to present. If you're not currently able to express your gender the way that you wish you could, we stand with you. You are still you, and you'll eventually get the opportunity and get the space to 100% be you. It is important to note that these expressions are influenced by societal roles and cultural stereotypes. You know, the Jamaican mentality stereotype which means that they are not static and can shift and change over time. Behaviors, clothing, and even body language are all social constructs that are labeled as being masculine and feminine. This binary can restrict people from really and truly expressing themselves in the way that they want or, you know, fear of negative feedback. Persons whose gender expression is different from societal norms experience subtle discrimination. Basically, it's called like microaggressions. And I know a lot of black persons know what microaggression is, but within this context, a few examples of microaggression is being misgendered or treated like they belong to a gender that they, you know, they don't assign to, they're, they're not assigned to. Um, told how well they do or do not meet societal standards of their gender. Um, harassed or mistreated when someone figures out that they are not cisgendered. Asked insensitive questions about their bodies and their medical history. How rude. Stare at or have people avoid eye contact with them. I go through this like every single day just because of how I dress. If someone you know has a gender expression that does not match stereotypical ideas of how men and women should appear, dress, or behave, there are things that you can do to help be, you know, a supportive friend. People go through many changes in life, and that can include their sense of gender and their self-expression. You don't have to feel or experience the same things as them to be you know supportive and to try to be understanding you know you can also be an ally we already spoke about an ally and what an ally does you can be an ally don't be afraid to say something if you hear or see someone being treated unkindly because of their gender expression my friend they defend me enough 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 learning how to be an ally and an advocate can help others feel supported and understood you can ask people what their pronouns are preferably like don't just make assumptions based on how someone looks or acts if you call them by the wrong name or by the pronouns 
you know just apologize and correct yourself going forward so you know when you meet people now you'll be like hello my name is Reggie. i go by you know she he uh do you mind tell me what your pronouns are you know respect remember that societal rules expectations and stereotypes about what a masculine or feminine are not static and can change across time and culture if you enjoyed this video please drop a comment down below if you want to add anything to this video just you know comment section below don't forget to like share and again comment hit that notification bell so every single time a video drop you guys will know and if you're not subscribing what are we upon subscribe tune in tomorrow for episode 13 where of course we'll be going into our next terminology peace